Hi there, my name is Nicole and today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can make your own to-do list using Google Sheets. First, we'll go through a couple of the features of this to-do list and then we'll go through a step-to-step -step tutorial so that by the end of this video, you'll know how to make one for yourself. So let's get started then. Let's do an activity for Monday. So we'll write exercise for 30 minutes. And once we have an activity in there, the beauty of this checklist is once we hit the checklist, it does a nice um, strike through and it also shades in our cell, which is really nice. Then we can go ahead and add any images we like. I'm going to stick my Bitmoji in there and you can choose any Bitmoji and you can also do a quick Google search and just find an image that you like on the internet and put that through as well. So this allows you to customize your to-do list exactly how you want it to look like. And let's say that you're a paper-based person, go ahead and print that off. You can also print two to a page and three to a page and things like that, okay? The only thing I found is that I wasn't able to download a copy of this to-do list as an Excel document. So if you do want me to do a tutorial on how you can make a to-do list using Microsoft Excel, please let me know in the comment section below so we can do that next time. Okay, and let's say you don't want a weekly to-do list, then go ahead and make a singular to-do list. And I actually prefer sometimes using a singular to-do list, okay? So that's perfectly fine as well, and you'll learn how to do that in this tutorial. Let's get started then. We'll make a new sheet, which is on the bottom right corner here. Hit that button, and then we'll have a blank document here. We want to write weekly to-do list, okay? And we want to grab that cell, bold it, and change the font around so that we have something that looks a little bit nicer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these cells from A1 to um, I1, and we're going to format this so that we can merge all of these cells together. And then we can also align the text so that we have it in the middle. Okay, go to then B, cell B3, and then what we're going to write here is Monday. Here's where we're going to be starting our to-do list. And then same thing for Monday, we can style it how we like. So 18 font, and I'm going to choose um, to change the font here as well. Again, we're going to do a merge and we're going to align it in the center as well. I'm going to add a grid line on the outside of this and I'm also going to select the cells underneath, which is where I want my to-do list to be. And I'm going to add some grid lines there as well. So you can tell that I want it to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows down and this is completely up to you. Then I'm going to resize the column C so that we have it a little bit wider. I'm going to do 250 pixels. The default is 100 pixels, um, but it really depends on how much you want to write there, okay? Then I would maybe style the heading a little bit by just making it a nice color. And then adding our checkboxes. So to get our checkboxes, go to insert and then there'll be an option for checkbox. And we can make this a little bit larger by changing the size here and copy and paste it down by dragging the bottom right corner. Okay. And that also helps to resize the rows as well, which is really nice. And for the text, go ahead and change how you want the text to look. So I want 18 font and I want um, shadows to light type something in. So let's say we want to walk the dog and we can tell that um, once we press the checklist, there is no strike through in there. There is no fill. So we do have to put that in ourselves. So go ahead and click C4, go to format and do a conditional formatting. For this, I'll need to move my face over here and I want to apply this to the range C4 to um, C10, okay, which is over here, press enter there. And we want to do our own custom formula when this equals to this cell here. No, that's not going to do it. So B4, and when that equals to true, I want to change the style. Okay, so check that. Yep. Okay, so what this is saying is when when the cell here is checked, so when the checkbox is clicked and its um, its value is true, then I want to shade the cell on the right here. Okay, and then we can change the fill. So I want to make it a gray fill and I also want to do a strike through. And then press done. So once you check that box, it will strike and it will also fill in our cell for us. Okay. 
we'll need to type something into our next box just to check that everything is working. So let's write um, cook breakfast. Okay, and then check the box and it does extract through as well, which is perfect. Okay, so then go ahead and leave that as it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this into some other cells. So then we'll have the rest of the week as well. But if you just want a singular to-do list, then I think that's finished. You just add in a couple more rows and even adjust the width of the rows as well. Okay, so before our tutorial, we're going to copy and paste it into some other cells so that we have the entire week. Don't worry about the, the width of the um, columns yet. We're going to fix that up. And we're also going to fix up a little bit of the color as well. So for this, we're going to write Tuesday, Wednesday, I just did something strange there. Thursday, Friday, and just for styling sake, we're just going to combine Saturday and Sunday, but you can change that how you like. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the width of these columns. So resize, and for the space, we're going to do 50 equals. Same with this one, resize to 50. And then for column F and I, we're going to make that 250 pixels. Just to keep everything consistent, we don't need that anymore. Resize to 50. And then last step is just to change the color. And I like to do kind of like a lighter color. But again, this is um, the point of customization. We can change it to whatever we want it to be. Nope, we don't want the same one. Let's do the same one twice. Okay, so I think that's good. And just check that the cells all work. So let's say I chose this cell here. Let's type in um, go to the beach and check it through. Make sure it doesn't strike there and also fills in the cell, which is exactly what it does. So that's perfect. So that's complete. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed learning about how you can make your own to-do list using Google Sheets. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this. I'll have a link to my to-do list in the description box below so you can download it and you can also edit and customize it for yourself. Until next time, guys, see you later and stay safe.